Hey, hey, peeps, it's me, Kay. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're already a subscriber. So I have a little um, project that I was doing. Um, long story short, um, feel free to fast forward um, if you don't want to listen to my little intro. But um, I had some repairs done in my apartment, so I wasn't able to work on the retro recipe album that I'm supposed to be working on. Um, but I needed to be doing something. So I decided to just do some flowers and fabric ruffles with the scraps that I had. And I end up having this idea to put together a little ephemera kit um, for you guys if you are interested. I just did four. I didn't want to get crazy. I don't know if anybody's really interested. And I figure if they don't sell, I can still use them and my recipe um, albums that I make or journals that I make. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to talk through one um, and then I will share all the other ones because it's hot and I turned my AC off so it's not so loud, um, but I can't do the whole video with no AC because I will pass out. So anyway, I'll go, I have them um, lettered A, B, C, D. Um, so whatever is in that package, you will get, I was thinking since it's like a retro theme, I've had, I remembered I had these napkins that I think I'm going to put in here because they're retro themed and I'll show you why I was thinking that in a minute. Um, all right. So let's get, oh, you know what? Hold on. Okay. I have forgot something <laughs> that I wanted to put in here. And um, I wanted to run and get it before I forgot. All right. So I'm going to go through this one first. It's my little retro tray that a co-worker, oh, it's upside down, that a co-worker gave me years ago. I love it so much. Um, yeah, she gave this me years ago. So anyway, so let's just take everything out. So this is A. So I'll show you the flowers first. Um, these are using the Tim Holtz uh, tattered floral dyes. So I just use various laces, some denim, um, and some eyelash trim, a button that is sewn on. And on the back, I put a lightweight, um, uh, lightweight cardboard. So you can easily glue it down to whatever project you're going to use. So that is the flower for this one. Well, one of the flowers. And then this one. Very retro. I used some of the sheets that I got from Selena's shop. I will link her down below in case she has more in stock. And again, I have the cardboard on the back. I love using the eyelash trim. Without the eyelash trim, it just, I don't know. The eyelash trim, I love it sticking out. It just does something. I don't know what, but something. So there's some fabric ruffles of various sizes. So this one has this one. I tried to match it, match everything. So, and then you have a longer gingham, blue gingham, and then some fabric paper clips. You have one with like the little, I don't know what you call these flags. And then I have one that I just made with some fabric, some leftover lace, a little flower here. Okay, so that's the handmade stuff. And then we have a couple of stickers. So this is just a little retro woman sticker here. And then this one is a transparency one. I don't know if it's showing up well on camera, but um, this is a chipboard tag. And I was thinking maybe you want to use the napkins on these. This is um, a Tim Holtz hanging sign, and I love using these for recipe um, journals or albums. Um, I like to hang it, and well, I just hang it this way and um, stamp it. So what I did, in case you wanted to stamp, stamp it, I made you two different. Um, die cuts of with chipboards. So there's a white and then there's like a cream color depending on where you're, you know, what you're going. If you have something you want to stamp. Um, I have a stamp that says from the kitchen of, but it's not the greatest stamp. 
Otherwise, I would have stamped it for you guys, but it's not the great. I've had it for a long time, and so it doesn't stamp like the way it used to. Um, some of these blue chip stamps. Some guest checks. This is a very lightweight one, and then this is just a more thicker. Got a peanut bag. And then this is a tag that I made. Um, I just sewed some uh, cardstock on the back. And then these ladies came from KB and Friends. Um, I, on mine, I have like these snarky, um, I don't, of course, don't have one to show you, but I have like these snarky sayings. I don't know where I got those from. They weren't a digital. I'm thinking I must have found some and typed it up myself and then just kind of cut them up and put them on there because it's not a digital. So I don't know where they came from. Um, I added a shipping tag again. So if you wanted to use the, um, what is this? Napkin. <laughs> Napkin. Let's see how pretty they match perfectly with everything. So I'm going to add that in there. And then, oh, I didn't even finish showing you. And then two different vintage recipe cards. This one is Betty Crocker and this one, the um, My Great Recipes. So two of those. So that is, and the shipping shouldn't be too much. Um, I did weigh it. Um, it is about three ounces. It's un actually under three ounces. Um, so it shouldn't be um, too much. Maybe, maybe four or five dollars for to ship. Um, I'm shipping it in bubble, bubble mailer. Sorry, I'm taking the time to do this, but I don't want to miss out. So this is what it's going to be shipped in, and I put some packaging in here so that you know hopefully it'll help so it doesn't bend too much because you know you know how the postal people they just they're rough with everything so sorry that i'm taking the time to do this so i am going to um just put on some music let me get this back in there I'm going to put on some music and I'll show you the rest. If you're interested, um, I didn't even tell you how much it costs. $12, um, not including shipping. So I will give you, um, I'm just, I'm not listing these in my shop. Unless they don't sell, then they'll, I'll put them in the shop, but they will be more than $12 because, you know, at C and their fees. So $12 um, plus shipping, like I said, they shouldn't be any more than like five dollars the most depending on when you where you live but i don't think it's going to be that much because like i said they're only like three ounces under three ounces so um this is how they will come and yeah that is pretty much it so thank you so much um if you're interested i will have all the information down in the description box below my paypal is down in the description box below you don't have to have paypal um a PayPal account. I know someone uh, a while ago said they didn't have a PayPal account, um, but you don't need one to um, purchase. Um, but anyway, so PayPal account down in the description box. Bleh, down in the description box below, twelve dollars plus shipping, and um, yeah, that's it. So if these do well in the future, I'm, I I want to make some like handmade flowers. In different styles. I really love making flowers. They're like one of my favorite things. So anyway, if you're interested, just tell me which one, A, B, C, or D, um, and uh, send me the, um, yeah, I will send you, if you send me your address or your zip code, I can quote you um, the shipping costs. All right. So thank you so much again. Hope you enjoy. I hope you like them and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, have a great one. Bye.